What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net, and we are in Adobe InDesign, and this is lesson number five of our series. What we're going to be doing on this one is we're going to be creating our table of contents. You can't have a book without a table of contents. That way, people can actually find where the content is. That's the reason why they call it a table of contents. So, first thing we want to do is come over here to our pages, and we want to put our table of contents right here on our B master however before we do that we need to add in some paragraph styles we need our paragraph styles in order to link our table of contents to our pages okay so what I mean by that let's go ahead and bring up our, our paragraph styles and let's go back over here to normal and selection tool and let's resize our image here make sure it's in the center let's bring this one down to about here actually let's go and bring this one down just a little bit more and now bring this one down to about here okay so that gives us this space right up here to work with. So grab a hold of the text tool and let's come over here and let's draw out our text box. And that's about right. So we're going to say uh, the wonderful world of animals. Okay. So now let's come over here and we're going to choose create new style. We're going to click on this one, and we're going to name this header. Okay, uh, double click on it. And we're going to come over here to the basic character format, and we're going to come down to Minion Pro. And we're going to make it bold. That looks good. And we're going to drop down its size a little bit, because we don't want it too big. That looks good and everything else is fine click on ok now we want to let's choose the selection tool and make this a little bit smaller now create a new text layer up underneath it and we're going to have this animals of the world okay so now create a new style and we're going to name this sub header over here to our basic character and we're going to change this one we're going to choose minion pro for this one as well and we're going to leave it that looks good right there so go ahead and click on ok and now bring that down just a little bit and click out so this is our subheader and this is our header so then we can come down here let's copy uh, command C uh, control C on a PC let's come down here to our text here let's go ahead and drag this down and let's paste this in here put this right up here we're going to rename this to information on our animals. Okay, so this is our sub, our sub, and this is our header. Okay, so now what we can do is that we can come up here and we want to choose this one right here which is this page here as a place to place our table of contents now choose our text draw it out here come over here to layout down to table of content styles we're going to choose the table of content style one double click on it and we're going to give it a page number after entry and we're going to put uh, between entry and number, we're going to put an M dash. Oops, sorry, got one, so we just need one. Now, we're going to come over here, we're going to choose header, click, and then, let's remove that one, choose header, and then K 
come down here to subheader and choose it. So this is our header and this is our subheader. So everything else looks good and create PDF bookmarks. If you are going to export this as a PDF file, then it will automatically create our headers and subheaders as PDF bookmarks over here on the side left. So click OK and now click OK again. Okay, now with our, um, after we created our table style, let's come to layout, table of content, and then we're going to let this one choose, and then click OK, and then it's going to say, do you want the table of contents to include items in overset text? Choose yes. You can see here that it has added our text to our cursor. Come over here and just drag it out and drop. Now, that is our table of contents. So, what we want to do now is that we actually want to work with some paragraph styles. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a, let's select our header and create a new paragraph style. And we're going to name it TOC header. We're going to move this over. Make sure that preview is checked. And then we're going to choose basic format. And we're going to shrink this down just a little bit don't need to be too big then we're going to come over here and go to indents and spacing and we want to change this from center to left and then just move it out just a little bit that way it's not too close to the edge and that looks good to me so now let's click on ok and now choose this top one right here create a new new one uh, click on it again and this one's going to be TOC subheader come over here to our character format and we're going to drop this down to about there looks good indents and spacing to the left and now we're going to bring this out to about here that looks good click on OK now choose this one and then add in that paragraph style as well so now we've got our um, our header and then our subheaders here okay so let's say that we come down here and on to this page and right here we add in a new header let's say uh, uh, about the trees okay so this is about the trees so we're gonna come over here to paragraph styles and we're gonna give this a header and then we're going to make this smaller and then we're going to come over here and we're going to add in its subheader. And um, the oak and redwood. Come over here, click on subheader. Okay, so now we've got our about the trees and the oak and red oak. So, oh, the redwood, sorry about that. So then we come over here and we come back up to our table of contents. But what gives? We've added in our uh, we've added in our header and subheader, but yet our table of contents is not updating. What gives? Simple. Okay. Come over here and you click on it. Come over here to layout and then update table of contents. If it's not selected, then you're not given that update. So you select the table of contents, come over here to layout, update table of contents, and do you want to include a reset? I always choose yes, and voila, it adds it in. Except the bad thing about it is that it adds in the other format. TOC header, and this one right here is our TOC header, and then sub sub and sub 
Okay, and the reason why whenever we selected our content and we updated it and it changed on us is that we forgot to set something. Let's come over here to layout, table and content styles. And let's open up our TOC style one. Click on header and then come down here. And what we want to do is that we want to choose what which style that we created to work with this. So we're going to come down here, we're going to choose TOC header. And then for our subheader, we're going to come over here and we're going to choose TOC subheader. So now this is going to work with our TOC header and this one is going to work with our TOC subheader. We'll click OK, click OK again. And now whenever we choose to update, it's going to update without removing anything that we have done. So that right there will give us our table of contents and each one of our headers and subheaders can be added in all the way throughout our documents, our story. Okay, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking time now. Bye-bye.